I'm going to make some Polish chrusziki. Some people call them angel wings. They're really just a really good fried dough, but it's a great Polish dessert. Very traditional. For the recipe, I have two and a half cups of flour, six egg yolks, half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of either brandy or cognac. If you don't want to use brandy or cognac, you can use vanilla. And then I have five tablespoons of sour cream. So to start off, we get our egg yolks into our mixer bowl, along with the salt. And we're going to mix these up for a few minutes, just until they get light and lemony colored. Now going to add in the sugar. and the flavoring, whichever flavoring you choose. All right, I've beaten that for about three minutes. Now I'm going to add half of the flour. And there's nothing in this flour. There's no baking powder, no baking soda, nothing like that just until it's blended. Okay, now I'm going to add all of the sour cream. The sour cream is what makes it nice and tender. It gives it a little bit of a tang too. Scrape down the sides just to make sure all the ingredients are getting mixed together. And I'll add the rest of the flour. Now, if you find out that your mixture is too dry, you can add a little bit of sour cream, like a, another tablespoon or so. We'll see. I need to scrape up the bottom. It's not getting mixed in. These are a great dessert, and you'll see these in a lot of Polish celebrations, weddings, baby showers, Christmas, Easter, you name it. People love chrusziki, especially kids. Take it off. You can see it's a relatively thick dough. It's thick and sticky. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of flour and just Work it a little bit until it's a little smoother. A lot like bread dough. Doesn't have to be too smooth because if you were making these traditionally, the traditional thing that you would do now is get out your rolling pin, 
and roll this out and then cut it from there. But I have found over the years that it's so much easier to use a pasta machine. If you have the electric one, that's good. I don't, I like my little crank machine. Okay, so let's get right in to making these. I've got uh, just a cookie sheet uh, lined with, you can use parchment paper, this is uh, wax paper and I just dusted it with flour. That keeps the krushchiki from sticking and kind of flatten it. And if you're familiar with uh, pasta machines, they have numbers and it progressively gets from thick to thinner. So we're gonna start at the widest opening. Make it nice and smooth. I like to do the first one a couple times through. Okay, now I move it, that was number one. I move it to number three. And then up to number five. Okay. Now, the good thing about it is it makes the whole length of the ones that I want the same size. So it's all one length this way. I'll just trim it up a little bit. You can re-roll this, no problem. And then you just cut them, you know, about half inch, three quarter inch. And then you make a slit down the center. You grab one end, you've got this opening, grab one end, put it through the slit, and pull it out the other side. And there you go. That's a krushchiki. And you just put these on your tray. And what I'm gonna do is I am just going to continue making a whole bunch of these and filling up my tray with these lovely krushchiki. And then I'll show you how to fry them and then serve them. I finished forming all my khrushchiki and I got 84. You can easily double this recipe for a party. It didn't take me that long to go. Once you get going, it goes really fast. I have an electric frying pan here for a couple reasons. You can use a deep fat fryer or you can use a regular pot with a thermometer. You need oil or shortening that's up to 375 degrees. I like this because it's a lot of surface area. I can put a lot of khrushchiki in the in here and I don't have to put that much oil or fat. I'm using shortening because I think it has a better flavor. And it's at 375 and now I'm going to start frying my khrushchiki. And what you're going to do is fry them until they are light brown. That's going to take two to three minutes per side. These go pretty quickly. And you can see how many I can put in here at one time. And then I have a tray with uh, paper towels on it to absorb whatever fat comes out of here. You can see they're already starting to turn brown, the, ones, the first ones I put in. So I'm going to start flipping them. And then after they cool down a bit, I will dust them heavily with confectioner sugar. And these are so good. Almost done the first batch. Get another tray. Here we go, it's starting to come out. You can see how fast they went. You don't want to leave. You also don't want to leave because this is very hot fat. And so you want to make sure that there's no kids around or be careful yourself. This would be a very nasty burn. But look at how many I got done and that's just in one pass on a big fryer like this. And it's good because this electric fry pan is very inexpensive and it has a thermometer built in so it holds the heat at the temperature that you want it. 
I used to have a you know a professional type deep fat fryer and oh my god it just took so much fat to fill that thing up and the surface area wasn't that great I can fit a lot more in here and this is cheap if it breaks I buy a new one get rid of that tray Ooh, those are looking good And I'm just going to keep on frying until I finish frying all 84 of them. And then I'll show you all about the uh, confectioner's sugar coating. Here are our krushtiki all fried up. They're still slightly warm. And now I'm going to coat them in powdered sugar. As you can see, I buy in bulk. And I like to sift it on because there might be some lumps in there. And it's going to get messy, yes. That's okay. It cleans up very easily. And don't these look pretty? They look like a party, you know? And everybody who, who sees them, they come in the room and it's like, oh, can I have some? Move that over there. Let's get our last one. And they're pretty close to the same size. You can make them bigger if you want, or you can make them smaller. It's up to you. Ah, there we go. And then you can just pile them on a platter. And you'll have a party. So I hope you try these. They're really good. Wish you could taste them right now. Polish Khrushchev.